Orange gets it up ahead off the boards to Durham, who taps it to knee back to Durham. Durham dealing with another bouncing puck, just had to scoop it down low. And Andrew Hare will play it around, but not out. Spun toward the front of the net. Rebound, they score! Maybe for the first time all season, Andrew Hare gets burned trying to play the puck. And Justin Knee makes it 1-0 Bengals. And it was just, it kind of came up off his stick and it just rolled around, took an awkward hop right in front of the crease area, bouncing around. It hit a couple of guys, first Tyler Nelson, and then finally got on the tape of Justin Knee, who hammered it home in a wide open net. Andrew Hare, we speak about it, gives people a little bit of a, uh, a coronary when he comes out and tries to make these plays. Usually he's going to be good, but that's one of those 9 out of 10 situations, and that one time burned him. And Kevin Carr has that Ross McKinnon feel to him right now, where it just seems like Lakers can't do anything to beat him. Of course, McKinnon shot the Lakers out here for Newman College earlier in the season, but here Chris Mews up the left side into the zone, pulling up, feeding it to the front, they score! <laughs> Tyler Leimbrock charging the net. Rips it home and ties the game at one. Maybe that little pep talk was exactly what they needed. Great job of winning the faceoff, keeping it inside the zone. Chris Muse works the, the near side boards with a wing. He pulls it inside the circle. And Tyler Leimbrock with a whole lot ahead of steam heading in. Gets it past Kevin Carr for the first time this evening. And he flies into the net to reassure that that one goes home. It's 1-1, Lakers and Bengals, and we got a doozy. Second power play chance for the Lakers, 0 for 1. And of course, because of the rule that was put into place last season by NCAA, that the penalty is still in force. As Whitelaw brings it in, he scores! Just like that. Whitelaw makes it 2-1 Lakers. And it came in right after the point you were trying to make as Whitelaw comes streaking in at the early stages of the power play. Does it himself. No, nothing doing in front of the left circle and lets a twisted wrister right by the glove of Kevin Carr who is officially shook by the Lakers offensive attack. Just like that, as you say, 2-1, to one, and they're right back to their ways in the offensive intensity. As soon as they start scoring, they want to keep doing it in bunches. Down to 20 seconds remaining in the power play as Andrew Hare has the plate away from McKinney. McKinney runs into Hare. Everybody looking around, no penalty. Ayotte up the middle for Whitelaw, breaking it all alone. He scores! <laughs> White Lightning strikes twice again, and the Lakers up their lead to a pair. He's always behind the play. He always keeps his head up. John Whitelaw gets just in front of the blue line, works himself, advances on the play, gets a great feed, and one-on-one -on -one he's going to win every time. This time picks out a nice spot, left side shoulder, and beats Kevin Carr, who looked great early, but has really been shook it up in the last couple of minutes here. John Whitelaw, second of the evening, and the Lakers third of the game. Melligan skates up the right wing side and scoops it in around Joseph. We'll keep our eyes on Kevin Carr in the other end. Nelson at the right point keeps it in. Centers one to the point, and a feed into the slot. A shot hit the goal post. McKinney let it go to hit the very inside of the pipe. And back to back two goal games. Big tie up in the corner. Five players. A nice feed right out of the front for Orange, whose shot was blocked. Nelson, another try. Right into the crease again. Backhander. Another save made by Hare. Knocked aside. Rodriguez coming back up to Moody. Whitelaw's there with Moody to pass it off to Whitelaw. And this time he nails it. Hats off for John Whitelaw. His third of the night. His fifth in the last two games, and the Lakers salted away with a 4-1 lead. Gotta love the unselfishness by Luke Moody there to set up John Whitelaw. They actually give the puck to Rodriguez, who will actually give it off to Whitelaw, but Moody looked like he actually got slashed on the back end of that play. I'm surprised they actually didn't call it. He keeps looking at his hand on the bench, but definitely got hit. On the back side there, nothing called by the officials, but the setup by Moody. Whitelaw puts a bow on this one. Hats off, as you say, John Whitelaw, fourth goal of the evening for the Lakers, third for the night for Whitelaw, and bring it on Plattsburgh. It's going to be a heck of a game Friday. And he's going to hammer it up on the wing at center. Singleton will slide it back to Anderson. Three, two, one, the game is over. And the Oswego State Lakers get another victory. They are ninth straight. They've won 12 of 13. The natural hat trick for John Whitelaw.
is a great springboard to Whiteout Weekend coming to Oswego on Friday.